Hi folks, welcome to one more episode of SM Division Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about eight habits of highly effective supply chain managers. Supply chain managers are always in a high demand. Most businesses, manufacturing or distribution, or basically any company who makes stuff and ships stuff needs a supply chain manager. I myself have worked as a supply chain manager in three different plants for about five to six years in various different countries. I also know a lot of successful supply chain managers and I have learned by mistakes, I have done something good and I've seen other supply chain managers doing the same, you know, doing something very effectively or making some mistakes. So in conclusion to that, I come up with the eight habits which most of the effective supply chain managers possess. So let's crack on with the first one. The successful supply chain managers deliver results and that results could be you know, improving on-time delivery, reducing inventory, reducing lead time, driving cost out, developing people or delivering projects. Whatever they are, highly effective supply chain managers deliver results. And okay, the delivering results is important, but what is also very important is how they go about and do it. So one of the dimension is what you do, but also the most important dimension is how you do it, right? You have to make sure you take the team with you, there's a lot of stakeholders, and everybody is with you in delivering results. What you don't want to do is to upset a lot of people and try to basically deliver results. Also understand what are the key results you want to achieve because not everything is super important so you have to prioritize having said that i have written a blog of 18 supply chain kpis which you can look i have given the link of the blog below and also i have developed a dashboard of the supply chain kpis which you can use and customize for your job for your business you can add kpis you can delete kpis you can edit kpis as well it's a pretty nice the dashboard i made a video as well which you can see on the link somewhere here of how to use that dashboard and you can download and you can use that dashboard as well the link is within the video as well the second and one of the most important habits i have seen is highly successful supply chain managers that are technically competent that means they know their stuff like myself i started as a demand planner then i worked as export manager materials manager supply chain manager logistics director and now i also work as a division supply chain manager i would have not done none of those jobs because unless i have developed myself you know basically bottom up and learning my technical skills I've written a blog of eight supply chain technical competencies. The link is below. You can use that where I talk about how you know you need to know about you know sales and operations planning, you know capacity planning, demand planning, supply scheduling, logistics, warehousing, trade management, so on and so forth. The point is you need to know all the details. I've also noticed that some of the supply chain managers or, or senior people, they somehow come from a non-supply chain route. Maybe they are just a better communicator, you know, they know important people, whatever the reason is. But they struggle to gain the respect of their team because they might don't have the technical competencies to basically discuss on the same level, right? So technical competencies always helps. It gains you respect of the team and your colleagues around you. So do that. So how are you going to do this? Again, you can go to SCM Dujo. There's a lot of good knowledge available. I already mentioned the blog. There's a lot of courses and guides. Please refer to those and develop your technical skills as much as possible. The effective supply chain managers build credibility. So this is the third most important habit I have noticed. So how you build credibility in your business? So what you can do is to focus on four C's of credibility, as I call it, right? What are four C's? So the first one is a consistency. That means you will do what you say over the long period of time. The second is competence, which I already mentioned in the, as a second point. And that means you know your stuff, you know all the technical knowledge. And the third is commitment. That means you are you're working hard. You, despite the obstacles, despite all the less colored winds against you, you make sure you stick to the task and you deliver the expected results. And the fourth one is concern of people. That means you show emotional intelligence, you basically give respect to your, your, your people, your, the people who work with you, maybe the direct reports uh, or not direct reports, you have to give respect 
regardless of that right so concerns of concern of people empathy and kindness at the same time so if you do these four things that means you know you should be consistent you are competent you are committed and you, sh you show concern of people that will enhance your credibility over the period of time the fourth one the effective supply chain managers they deliver strategy right so they have enough strategic agility and a business acumen to understand what business wants to achieve maybe they want to grow a business wants to achieve grow in a certain markets certain geography certain product line uh, certain customers whatever they that is the supply chain managers have enough business acumen to understand the business strategy most importantly they take the strategy which is a high level document and convert that into more tactical level actions and more operational actions right so anything which is need to be developed in for example in two to three years time what you have to do this year what you have to do this month one of the most effective process i have noticed is to understand the strategy and deliver the strategy is sales and operations planning so i've used sales and operations planning to identify for example if you have to grow in a certain market right so i've got a project for example we have to grow in west africa okay so what is the demand how are we going to understand the demand, what are the new customers and how are we going to convert into those new customers and the, the, the new projected demand into the potential SKUs which we have to stock or we have to supply or whatever we have to do in terms of customer setup or whatever the action is required to grow into that market. So SNOP is a good process. So I, I do, you know, live courses and I've done a course on demand which is available into SMDujo slash courses. I've given a link below. You can go and uh, have a look as well. So SM, S, sales and operation planning is a, one of the very good processes is to understand the strategy and convert into more tactical and operational actions to deliver the strategy. The effective supply chain managers develop leaders. So this is the four fifth most common effective habit I've seen. So as the saying goes, leaders develop leaders, not followers. And I firmly believe that. So for all the aspiring supply chain managers, I would say, you know, develop people around you. I remember hiring three fresh graduates uh, with no experience of supply chain. And five years later, all of them are essentially a managers, a logistics manager, purchasing manager, and a supply chain managers of their businesses, right? Because uh, one of the, my director said to me once that once you're going up, plant the trees, because if you, those trees, if you're falling it down, can stop you falling further. So when I'm talking about developing future leaders, I also talk about in, in the same era, you know, performance management. That means you are working on improving someone's performance or you're also, if somebody's not performing, then how you're helping that person to improve their performance, right? That goes into the same uh, bucket for me. I've also noticed that some of the supply chain managers, they don't like to share knowledge. And I don't think that's a, that's a very old school strategy. And I think that should be, just should be dead by now. The, the more knowledge you share, that means you develop future leaders, which can in turn help you look better. Number six, the effective supply chain managers try new things and they are brave enough to go into the areas which they are basically in not so competent, right? Because uh, that sort of boldness help them in to learn something, a new skill which they do not have. Let me give you an example. There's a lot of uh, debate around, or there's a lot of promotion around you know, digitalization, but what, what does exactly digitalization means, right? So I've gone in, I've read the book, so really understanding the concept of what a supply chain digitalization means, and therefore I have created a group on the LinkedIn. So the link is a blow of that group. Please join the group because I'm posting a lot of interesting con con content on supply chain digitalization. The point is, uh, whatever which you think you don't know, try it out. What is the worst case scenario? You're gonna fail, right? But the failure is a part of learning. You know, if you if you not fail, that means you have not tried anything. So so don't be don't worry about that and go and try new things. One of the concepts I recently learned in my project, which I did for uh, supply chain digitalization, is a concept of minimum viable product. So you can Google it as Google it as well. So that means you don't go and spend millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars. You take smaller money and you basically use a developer product or a feature which has the minimum amount of functionality so you can give it to the users, let them use it, get the feedback and develop it further. So very interesting concept. Go and have a look if you want to try something new. Link with my previous points, number seven is the effective supply chain managers, they are eager learners, right? So if they don't know something, 
They try to find our current knowledge wherever the available, try to run, try to deploy and try to practice it as well. Uh, so therefore, I assume Dujo is a good place for most of the supply chain community because I, what I try to do, I try to write a content which is up to speed. Uh, most of the content is free. You can go and have a read. There's a lot of blogs and the videos as well and more to follow to help you guys. So uh, I think recommend Sassim Dujo to your colleagues and you basically try to spend more time on it. The last but not least, the effective supply chain managers, they show sharing is caring. So that means if the, there's something to be blamed, they take responsibility and accountability uh, to take the blame for the team. Or if someone needs to be credited for the good job they're done, good, good, you know, effective supply chain managers make sure that person is getting the, all the credit for the good job he or she have done, right? Not just that, you know, effective supply chain managers, whatever they have learned, they like to share. I mean, this is what I'm doing. This is one of the main essence of the SM Dujo. So what I'm learning, I'm sharing with the community. So hopefully I'm helping the community in the process, but I don't know everything I write. So I learn something and I try to share at the same time. Moreover, the effective supply chain managers also try to encourage the colleagues and people around them to share knowledge. So it is also possible that you have in your team a subject matter expert. For example, I used to have a colleague who, were, who was really good in Excel. So I used to encourage that person, you know, if you know so much, why don't you have a once a, you know, once in a month a, 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 a training session to, you know, you can teach all of us a new formulas or you know if you're making a new macro how you're doing it so we can learn all together so develop this learning culture between the team so not just you but in fact the all, all the team members around you should appreciate learn learning that means you're showing you therefore you're showing sharing is caring so by doing so in default you're trying to create a culture of knowledge sharing, therefore increasing the capacity and capability of the team. So at the end, not all of these skills or effective habits are easy to develop. It takes time, it takes practice. The more you do it, the better you get. I'm sure there's a lot of successful supply chain leaders and managers. So if you think if you're watching this video, if you want to add something, please leave it in the comments and hopefully the, the supply chain community will benefit from it. So as usual, uh, keep it simple and keep it real. Take care and ciao. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below.